Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I will be doing a fragrance haul. This is a collective haul and this is what I picked up lately. I get really excited about doing these hauls. I love making them, I love watching them. There's just something exciting about opening up boxes and seeing these beautiful fragrances. These are all blind buys, by the way. I have not smelled any of these prior to purchasing them. Before we get into this haul, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and activate that notification bell. And without further ado, let's get into this haul. This first one is Noir Exquis by Ardit Lordison, by Lordison Perfumer. I got that one. And the bottle looks like this. It's really nice. I love the craftsmanship that goes into making these Lordison bottles. They are so pretty. This is a gourmand fragrance. It's sweet, it's creamy, there's coffee in it. I'll read you the notes. This has chestnut, this has orange, this has maple sap, this has coffee and orange blossom. There's vanilla ebony, tonka wood, tonka bean, sandalwood, and heliotrope. So they sound like very delicious smelling notes. So the opening is boozy and rum-like. There's no boozy notes listed in this, but you get a dose of booziness and like a rum type of scent, which quickly fades away. It does not stay long. This is rich, this is woody. You feel like you're having coffee with maple syrup. I have been to Vermont many times. Um, my husband, goes there for business and um, my family and I have joined him on many occasions. And uh, Vermonters, people of Vermont, Vermonters, they love having maple syrup with their coffee. So when I'm there, do as Vermonters do. I tend to have my coffee with maple syrup at home. I just use creamer and my husband puts sugar, but in Vermont, we have the maple syrup with the coffee and I make that association. So this has really good memory association for me with Vermont. This just reminds me of Vermont. And it smells like roasted chestnuts. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's woody. It's resinous. And that maple syrup intensifies with the wear. The longer it is on my skin, the more intensified that maple syrup becomes. And it's oh, such a delicious scent. I love this. This is perfect for the cold weather. This is very cozy, very comforting. This makes me feel like um in Vermont during fall time. You guys, if you never visited Vermont during fall time, they have the best foliage. They have amazing, amazing scenery there. It's a beautiful state to be in, especially during the season. People come there from outside the country, from out of state in droves to witness this beauty. And this sounds like Vermont to me. I know I've said that, but it does. This one also has great longevity, great sillage, and great projection. This stays on my skin all day, it gives me 10 plus hours. It doesn't disappoint. It's just a beautiful, smooth, comforting, cozy, sweet, gourmand type of scent. And I'm glad to have this one in my collection. Again, this is Noir Exquis by Lardisan Perfumer. The next fragrance I have here is called Sensual Instinct by Montal. And 
I have not heard anyone talk about this here on YouTube. I haven't heard a thing about this fragrance. I accidentally came across it on Fragrantica. Somebody in the comments suggested this one for a coffee fragrance instead of Intense Cafe. And I'll tell you why. So it comes in this Montel pouch and the bottle looks like so. I love the color, the gradient effect that this has. And you guys, this is the one I'm most excited about. I could not wait to share this one with you. This is probably my best discovery so far of 2020. I was shook to the core when I smelled this. It's not that easy to get me all excited about the fragrance. Not this level of excitement. I want to do an in-depth review. I'm going to make a video dedicated just to this where I will be telling you everything you need to know about it. But I will just give you that brief feeling of this fragrance so you're not in too much suspense. I want you to be a little suspensed so you watch my next video. Duh. So top notes of this are roasted coffee beans. Middle notes are rose and praline. Base notes are oak moss, amber, and cedar. So I am so happy I didn't buy the full bottle of Intense Cafe. I do have the travel size of Intense Cafe, which I've been using. And I was thinking of purchasing it in the full size because I just, I love coffee scents, especially this time of year. And this is a hidden gem, you guys. Okay, so picture this. If Intense Cafe and Baccarat Rouge 540 by Mason Francis Kirchian had a baby, it would be Sensual Instinct by Montal. This is a hidden gem. That's all I'm going to say about this for now. I'm going to leave it there. And like I said, I will do an in-depth review. So watch out for that. Oh, vibes for that sensual instinct gives me those sensual vibes for sure. So the next one I have here, this is Alien by Terry Mugler. And it does Terry Mugler, which means this is the older formulation or it hasn't been reformulated yet. And this is the Alien Essence Absolute. I'm sorry about the box being open. I couldn't fit the bottle back in. So basically, this is what the bottle looks like. This is not a spray. They only had it in this version. And I have been on the hunt for this and I've put myself on numerous, numerous waiting lists on all the sites where I shop, never get notifications. This is just a very hard one to find. The lovely Jazz Jane here on YouTube was kind enough to share the information with us that this came back in stock at Fragrance Buy Canada, but fragrancebuy.ca. I will put Jazz Jane's information down below in case you haven't seen her videos or haven't heard about her channel. I just want you to check her out because she is so amazing. She posted that this was in stock on fragrancebuy.ca. Uh, she posted this here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. So I ran over to that page. I purchased this. I'm so happy I did because I checked back. I was thinking of maybe getting another one and it was sold out within maybe five to six hours or so. And I was so happy at least that I was able to get this. I haven't had a chance to decant this, but I will do that. And this is the 60 mil. And I don't want to open it because it might spill and just really heavy scented. So I'm sure most of you own this or smelled it. I will read the notes to you. 
This has jasmine, cashmere, wood, vanilla pod, white amber, myrrh, and incense. This fragrance is more, even more gorgeous than the original Alien, if that's possible, because I do love the original Alien. This is even more gorgeous, more elevated. It's a better version of the Alien. Why they discontinued, I have no idea. Because why take away a good thing? I mean, this was probably one of their best sellers, but I hope it does come back eventually. This fragrance still has its intensity. It's very intense. It's indolic. It's resinous. It's balsamic. It's rich. It's decadent. It's sensual, inviting. The scent just screams intoxication. It leaves you intoxicated. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. And I feel like this is an older, prettier sister of Alien. I know that does that tell me? I am so happy to have this in my collection. So this is Alien Essence Absolute by Terry Mugler. So this next one that I have is Grand Soir by Mason Francis Kurgian. And this one is in the travel size, as you see. And I'll just brace it on my arm. This is a rich, spicy amber. I'll read the notes. So this has amber, and cm benzoin, Spanish Latin, Spanish Latinum. This scent is smooth. It's very well blended. It's warm. It's spicy, it's sexy, it's elegant, sophisticated, very luxurious smelling. From, and this is actually my favorite from Mason Francis Kirti and I've tried this one before and it was in my top few that I really like from his house. And this is a beautiful amber fragrance. If you love amber, you will really enjoy this one. It's rich, it's opulent, it's resinous, it's thick, it's dense. It's just a really delicious smelling fragrance. I am so happy to have this in my collection because I had uh, samples in the past, so I decided to opt for a bigger size, travel size. Moving up. <clears throat> So the next one I have here is Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford, and this is in a travel size as well. I have never smelled this one before. Sorry, I said this was a blind buy haul. Everything except for the Grand Soir by MFK has been a blind buy because I did smell Grand Soir before. I completely forgot about that. So anyway, coming back to this, this this is Jasmine Rouge by Tom Ford. And this is a very pretty Jasmine scent. Yeah, it's Jasmine. That's the prominent note here. I'll read all the notes to you. So this has cinnamon, ginger, bergamot, cardamom, pepper, mandarin orange, Jasmine, Ylang Ylang, Neroli, Amber. There's woodsy notes, vanilla, leather. So there's a whole lot going on in this fragrance. Many, many notes. And what do they translate to? I don't really get the leather, to be honest with you. So if you're not a fan of leather, which I'm typically not, uh, there are some exceptions where it's very, very slight, where I might like it, but in this case, I am not, I'm not picking up leather. I don't know. Uh, it could just be that it's very well blended and it's not coming through. 
So this is a bright jasmine with some greenness to it. There's some green nuances going through this fragrance. But it's pretty linear to me as far as it doesn't change much. Like I get that strong jasmine in the opening. It's bright, it's green, and I get that throughout the whole journey of this fragrance. I personally prefer Alien, which is a jasmine fragrance. This one's not full bottle worthy to me. It's a pretty scent, but I have Alien and now I have Alien Essence Absolute, which I absolutely adore. And I like them more than this. I have to say the longevity on this is really good. I get eight plus hours because I know Tom Ford Private Blend, that whole line, is infamously known for it doesn't have the best reputation when it comes to performance and all that and this one actually performs really well it projects like a beast it leaves a beautiful sillage and like i said it stays on my skin for eight plus hours which is really good so for tom ford this might be the best performing one from that line i'm not sure because I really have only tried tobacco vanille and um, not, that was about it, I think, from that collection, from the private line. It's a nice jasmine fragrance. It's nice. That's all I can say. This concludes my haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you hauled recently or what you're planning to haul. If you have any of these, what you think about them. I love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much again. And I'll see you next time. Take care.